Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Tanisha with She Crafts 2. Today I am here to show you guys how I go about making my lollipop charms. And what you see here is a, um, a project that I'm working on. You guys may recognize it. Um, I am doing the um, bookshelf tutorial that Craft Perch taught us. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, I guess, a way that you could go about hanging the charm from one of your projects. Um, and you could also use the charm. You don't have to turn it into a charm. You could use it in the middle of a cluster or if you wanted to use it as a centerpiece. I am actually today going to create the um, the lollipop that I create today. I'm going to use in the center of this bowl. Um, this is an acetate bowl that I made and I'm going to create the uh, lollipop to sit in the center of that. And I actually came up with this lollipop um, several years ago. I used to make hair bowls, hair accessories. And this was actually um, one of the centerpieces. And literally the hair bow was just like this one, pretty much just like that one. And then you would have the um, the lollipop in the center of it. So um, that being said, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. You guys really, you won't need a lot of supplies. Um, the Basically, the only tools that you'll need will be your hot glue gun and your scissors. Um, we will use... A, um, I don't know what they call these pens, an eyelet pen maybe. I think that's what it might be, but either way, it's just like the flathead pen, but it's the one that has the little eyelet already on the end. Um, I have two different colors of ribbon. I believe this actual type of ribbon is called grow grain, I think. Um, but I have two different colors, and this is what gives you the two tones. Because I'm going to make my lollipop on the smaller side, um, I am using, this is probably about 24 inches of ribbon. Um, then I also have a little small piece here, which is about four inches long. And we have, again, our usual suspect. We have our circle. It's a little bit bigger than the circles that we've been um, making in the other tutorials. But um, this is um, felt that I've cut out of a circle. And I also have some bows here, some bow charms or flat back bows. Um, and I haven't decided for sure um, if I'm going to use any of these. But if not, then I'll just kind of go back to my original design and make a bow um, from ribbon, um, a fabric bow. So we are going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, kind of want to find the center. Uh oh, I'm sorry. You want to find the center of, you're going to double your ribbon and you want to kind of find the center. I like to put just a little small dab of glue. Okay. And we're going to sit it, we're going to lay them directly on top of each other. Okay, and then again, we're going to double it over. So they're both stacked on top of each other. And you want to kind of make sure that you hold it taut because you want to maintain these ribbon, um, the two ribbons kind of, um, or the four tails actually, kind of flowing and laying on top of each other. Okay, so all we're going to do is take this piece. And start rolling and while you're rolling you just want to kind of push them together I usually hold them hold them together like this and like I say I have a, a nice amount of pressure on it I mean it doesn't have to be super stiff or anything like that but just hold a good amount of pressure on it to kind of keep them together and probably about halfway through I'll go ahead and see I'm just kind of squeezing them together if you start seeing the other colors poke out see have it coming together here it's literally like a little roll um, but about halfway through I like to go ahead and add just a little bit more hot glue it's just a way of securing it as you go um, if you feel like you want to add more hot glue you can 
or if you feel like you don't want to add any, you don't have to, um, but I just like to do it to secure it. Uh-oh, sorry. Get back in frame. This is really easy, guys, and this literally works up. You probably can do this in, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. So we've made it to the end, and this is what we have left. And you see the middle, this one here. And that's part of the reason why I say, you know, it's somewhat important to kind of try and line them up as much as possible. Um, so that way your tails at the end can um, be somewhat the same length. It really, it's okay if they're not. You don't have to be super... Um, What's the word I want to use? You don't have to be really particular about it because as you can see here, I'm going to go under that one. And I leave like the top one, the one that's on the top, I leave it the longest, okay? And I'll take my, this is just what I do. You guys don't have to, but I have my kind of melt together. And I'm going to put some more hot glue right here. See the hot glue there and we're going to put that push that one down over it and we're going to go ahead and pull this one make sure it's as tight as you can get it not super tight but you just want to make sure that it's coming over that it's that you're pulling it tight so that it's not loose over here on this side okay so I pull it tight and then I'm going to go ahead maybe I will go ahead and tell you guys um, unless you don't mind the ends fraying, but if you want it to be secure, then I guess we'll add, we'll go ahead and add the lighter to the, um, the tools that you'll need. You don't have to, um, cause I guess you can kind of seal it down with your hot glue and maybe it won't unravel too much, but I just, I've always done it this way. So this is what I know guys. Um, we're going to go ahead, put a little glue on the end, seal it down. I'm going to move this over out of the way, move those out of the way. These were the little pieces I told you guys I had left yesterday that I used to make the tassel. Get this off of here. So we have it and you see it's kind of, it's poking through. And you get two different perspectives from this. So on this side, I feel like you can see more of the pink right and you flip it over on this side and you see more of the yellow so you can do you can pick whichever side you want to whichever side you like the best you can pick that side to be your front side um, what I like to do at this point this is where we're going to use our paper straw and I'm gonna cut this down because I know that this is too long this is way longer than what I would want my stick to be. This again is based on your preference, the length that you leave your lollipop. If you wanna make a bigger circle, then you, of course you would make your ribbon longer um, and you could keep your stick this size and just make some bigger lollipops. Um, but I know that I want mine to be pretty small. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that in half. And so what we're gonna do here, I use my bone folder. You can use your fingers if you want to. Just gonna go ahead and flatten that end out. Gonna flatten it out on the tip. And we just flatten it out enough for, let me see which side am I gonna, I think I want more of the yellow. So just flatten it out so that, you know, it'll be flattened against your um, actual lollipop. So if you need to flatten it out a little bit more, that's okay. Okay. And I'm going to make this my front side, so we're going to put our hot glue on the back side. And this is where everything will pretty much come together. We're going to assemble everything at this point. And I add a good amount of hot glue here. I try, and, I try to stay in the middle of it where I'm at, and I try not to come out to the edges because, again, you guys, you know, the glue, it starts to uh, run out. I make the bottom of my lollipop, see where the line, where it ends there, I usually make that the bottom of my lollipop. So that is where I will put, that's where I'll put that. And this is where we use our eyelet pen. We're gonna put it right next to it. 
So they're literally kind of facing each other, okay? And you'll make sure it's as straight as you can possibly get it. It's just less work for you. And then we're gonna take our felt and put it on the back of it. If anything, if any felt is like hanging over, if you can see it, see how you can, you can see it just a little bit from the side there. Um, you can go ahead and get your scissors and just kind of snip it off. See, real easy to snip it off. And I guess with this design, you would need to have your felt or you can use a sheet of paper on the back. You don't have to have felt there. You can use if you have a hole puncher and you want to punch out a, not a hole puncher, but a circle punch and you want to punch out a circle with paper, you can use paper on the back too. You don't have to use felt. Um, I just like it because it's soft. So it maintains like the flow of like fabric here. So I like to keep that um, kind of going. So here you could actually be done with your lollipop if you like for, if you like this ribbon. Sorry guys, the light, my lighting is coming from that side. But if you like um, this print, to be showing you can be done with it at this point i like to add like a little bit of bling and this is kind of a um, has like an iridescent kind of sheen to it i don't know if you can really see it but it has an iridescent sheen to it and i like to add um ribbon that has that sheen to it to the edge of it i'm just gonna start wrapping the outside of it with that ribbon I like to add that to it because it puts me in the mind of, you guys see, can you see my hot glue gun? <laughs> um, that would be for the uh, the people who watched my, um, watched my unboxing, my birthday, get my birthday happy meal unboxing will um, understand what that reference is to and about the hot gun, the hot glue gun. Um, but here we go. So. Just wrapping this around. Wrapping it around. And I'm going to seal it again with our lighter. Okay. And we'll put some glue on the end there. Well, I guess it will help if I got in frame so you guys can see me. So there we go. And again, guys, what I was saying was that I like to um, I like to have like some sparkle on the outside of it because it kind of reminds me of the lollipop being dipped in um, in sugar, like in sugar crystals. Um, so I add a little bit more glue to the end there. Um, so it looks like it was wrapped in, um, it looks like it's like wrapped or, or surrounded by, um, sugar crystals or, um, something to that effect. I don't know. It's just adding more sweetness to it. Um, you could do a, a lot of fun stuff with this. Actually, you could, you could dip it in glitter. And add some sparkle around the edge of it to create that effect. That might be cute. That might be a lot of fun. And if you guys have like some mini seed beads, you could kind of dip the mini seed beads in there. Or some sequin too. As I think about it, that, that probably would be kind of cute too. Um, and I may end up doing some that have those on it. If you guys do it, I want to see them. I want to see what they look like because that might be kind of fun. To add some added texture to it and some added layers to it. Okay, so here we go. This is where we pretty much turn it into the charm here. Cut a little bit more off. And, uh-oh. Go ahead and wrap it. Now I have my circle facing forward. Um, so it's kind of coming forward so that way whatever um, jump ring you use, it'll be going to the side, so it'll keep this flat. And this is where I'll go ahead and let's check out the, nope. Let's see. 
It would be cute if it was a little bit bigger. So, let's see. That one's kind of fun. And it has like some gold. I don't know if you guys probably can't really see it, but it has like some gold. Some gold. Um, here we go. You can kind of see it. Some gold lines in it. Actually, I think I'm going to go with that one. I think I'm going to use that one. Add a little bit of... I ran out of my gold bowls, guys. Somebody shared those with me. I think it was actually Wendy who shared those with me. Um, that's our complete lollipop. So we're going to go ahead and pull our other ones back in. And then here is our lollipop on... There's our lollipop that is on um on the binder of that book. And so this one is the original. Um, yeah, you can see it's kind of rough around the edges. Um, but this was the original. This was one that was actually on um, a hair bow. It was a part of a hair accessory. As you can see, like I have, I kind of took the or tried to cut off as much as possible the tool that I had used that was on the back of this. But... Here's the fabric. Here is the fabric bow. And then, guys, I was actually using safety pins. I was, I would put the safety pin, glue the safety pin on the back of it. I would wrap the safety pin in white ribbon and put it on the back of the bow. Um, not the bow, on the back of the lollipop and use it as the stick just because I didn't want it to be bulky. And I wanted it to be something that was a little bit more sturdy, but that also... Um, would continue with the fabric um, as the stick so yeah this one has been around for some years I just kind of destroyed the the bowl that it was on and um, I was like oh this might be fun to you know create as an actual charm so that's where those charms came from it's definitely beat up but <laughs> that's where the charms come from and that is our tutorial that is done thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i hope you guys enjoy the tutorial if you guys go ahead and make some then definitely i want to see them tag me to them show them to me um you can private message pictures to me however you want to do it i definitely want to see them though and if you guys do the if you dip them dip the edges please let me see them because i think that's going to be kind of cute Anyway, guys, have a great day. See you next time.